I'm going to make sure that we have satisfied uh, the conditions for our presence in Afghanistan, um, ensuring that no one can ever launch an attack against the United States from that country again. It is now time to bring those service members who are deployed there tonight back home to Tampa, to communities across this country, to their families, to make sure that they can contribute here just as they did overseas. We have asked 19, 20, 21 year old women and men to carry the foreign policy of this country on their backs. We're at war everywhere without end. It's time to bring those wars to an end, those service members back home, and to invest the savings in what we were spending to deploy them in their care so that they're treated for the post-traumatic stress disorder, the traumatic brain injury, the military sexual trauma with which they came back. As president, I will make sure that groups like Al-Qaeda or ISIS or other transnational terrorist organizations are not able to attack the United States, but I will not do it at the price of invading one country after another, because not only are we in Afghanistan for our 18th year, we're in Iraq for our 28th year, we're also in Syria, in Somalia, in Libya, in Yemen as well. Now, this is not making us more safe, I would argue, it is making us less safe at a, a tragic cost and consequence to those service members who are uh, whose lives are on the line right now and the trillions of dollars that we've added to the national debt. By working with partners and allies and stakeholders in the region, we can diplomatically, non-violently, non-militarily achieve our foreign policy aims and keep America safe and secure.